Although the picture was going well, one sequence filled Karloff with dread. I'm Maria. Will you play with me? When I was about four years old, my mother decided was, I was well enough behaved to not talk or anything. She was going to take me to a movie. My first, my very first motion picture. And uh, she chose, of all pictures, Frankenstein. Marilyn Harris was a very sad, a very haunted little girl. Uh, she had a stage mother who treated her horribly, uh, literally tortured her. And you would think that perhaps because of this, the slate of Karloff might have you know, caused her to you know, run away crying. No, not at all. Marilyn Harris told me that when she first met Boris Karloff, he was already in monster costume, monster makeup. So she walked right up to him, took his hand. She said, can I drive out with you to the lake? He said, would you, darling? She said, oh, yes, I'd love to. She said there was like this magic rapport. She said just from the beginning, she just loved him. I thought uh, very much like the little girl in the picture. I thought he was a nice man. I wasn't fried. Uh, I, I enjoyed him. As shown in Victor Orite's The Spirit of the Beehive, children were able to see Frankenstein when it was first released. Do you like one of my flowers? And while some were terrified, others were enchanted. I think the scene with the little girl is where the character comes to life in the fullest sense of that term because he's no longer a monster. You have those, and I'll have these. He now has feelings that you can relate to. I thought that was so well done, because we see him as this evil creature, and then we see him showing empathy towards the little girl. And even though I was a child, when I saw the picture, I appreciated the added dimension to the character. For most audiences in 1931, and many years after, the scene ended here.